Short and sweet, don't have a lot of story with this one. This is merely to let you know how friggin' good this wine is. Uh, this is the uh, Geno Boulanger's 2011 Bourgogne Rouge. And, you know, I don't know a heck of a lot about it. You go to their website, there's no, like, Bourgogne section. They talk about, oh, our wine's from this village, from this village, from Alos Corton, from Pelini, da 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 Well, what about your friggin' Bourgogne Rouge? Just give me a little help here. Nothing. So, what we do know is that it's old vines, very old vines, and mostly from the southern part of Burgundy. So the basics, you know, usually need old vines to make great wine, especially with Bourgogne Rouge. Very important factor based on the fact that sometimes the vineyards aren't like the prime plots. You know, this isn't uh, Grand Cru or Premier Cru. This is usually, you know, stuff down on the flats, over by the highway, you know, this type of deal. So the old vines are very important. Great growing is also very important. And usually, vintage is very important. You know, usually we see the top Bourgogne Rouge wines, the little wines from these Burgundy producers, in years like 2009, 2010, 2005, you know, very strong vintages in general where everything ripens fully and even the wines from the lesser terroirs, uh, in fact, come out with, you know, just gorgeous fruit and delicious and stuff. What shocked the heck out of us is this wine came from 2011. Now, 2011 is not a bad year. Actually, you know, you talk to Alan Meadows, he likes it better in 2009. I think that's a bit of a reach, although he's the burgundy guy, so you're going to, you know, disagree with him or you're going to disagree with me. Oh, you're probably, you know. But from what I tasted, I tasted a bit. Uh, 2011s are more variable, you know, as a vintage, particularly for the red wines. And, and you know, the, there are some high highs, but there's a lot of just okay wine. And um, so, and generally, the Bourgogne wines, the little wines in the vintage, have not been that hot, to be perfectly honest, which was doubly shocking we tasted this. Because this was, like, so tender, so pure, pretty, elegant, perfumed, with a really, really sweet, supple core of strawberry fruit, and some of the earthiness that's missing, you know, not missing, but we're seeing a lot of earthiness in a lot of 2011 wines, earthiness that maybe not all the time should be there. And this wine didn't have any of that excessive earthiness. There was a little soil, a little minerality, which is typical and what you look for in Burgundy, but not, there wasn't an excess of it. So this was just this complete, wonderful, delightful bottle of old vine Pinot Noir from Burgundy, much along the lines of like the Maison Roche de Belen uh, old vines Bourgogne that we sold uh, a few months ago. This is, this is cut from that same cloth. Just a gorgeous bottle of French Pinot Noir, south of 20 bucks. Very impressive. You know, that's why sometimes, you know, you drink the wine, you don't drink the vintage, huh? That's why we do this. Cheers.